Most of you know me as the marathon runner, the busy grandma, the exercise lover, the advocate for water is basic. Yes, me, the busy, on the go, always moving Lisa Primavera. But it wasn't always like that. In fact, just five years ago, I struggled to walk, let alone run. For most of my life, as far back as I can remember, I have struggled with pain in my legs. They often said it was dehydration or overexertion, but whatever it was, it hurt. My legs cramped. During sleep, they cramped when I walked too fast or when I was in the pool, they cramped on the basketball court, they cramped while I was driving. The pain was excruciating. I'd been to many, many doctors, specialists. Nothing was ever explained. All I could do was live with that pain. Not only did I live in pain, but I lived in fear. But at that point in my life, I also lived apart from God. In 2012, shortly after the death of both of my parents, I sunk into a deep, deep depression. I could barely get off the couch. I didn't really know what to do. I had no hope. Coworkers suggested that I join a fundraising group and run a marathon. She said it'd be good for me, therapeutic. And I said, okay, I'll try it. It was on those morning runs along the beach that I heard God speak to me. He said, Lisa, you need to get back to church. That's where you need to be. I remembered I had a card from a sunrise Easter service from First Church Coral Springs. I dug it out and looked up the address and found myself sitting at that church. I cried most of the time during the whole service. And yes, I cramped throughout the whole time. But that didn't stop me. I kept coming. And just after a few months, I rededicated my life to Christ. And I joined the church. But life went on. My cramps went on. That was until that special Sunday right here at First Church. God sent a message through a woman, a stranger, who happened to be sitting in front of me. This woman turned around and she looked me in the eyes with outstretched arms and she said, Sister, the Lord has heard your prayers and you are healed. And then she anointed my head with oil. Would you know that that was February 8th, 2013 and I haven't had a leg cramp since? I realized in speaking with that woman that no, she really wasn't crazy, but she explained I had prayed, but my hope wasn't in God. I had prayed without expectation. I prayed as a last resort and not with any real faith. God had heard me, but I hadn't stopped long enough to hear God. A couple marathons later, and even a Disney medal to prove it, I don't have any leg pain. It's a miracle. God had healed me. Healing wasn't just something I read about. Healing happened to me. And if this God loved me so much, I want to know him more. This set me on fire for God. I'm making up for lost time. I run, I exercise, I bowl, I crawl on the floor with my grandkids. God is alive and at work in me, empowering me every day to get up, exercise, eat right, and inspire others to know there is hope in Christ. There is hope. Healing does happen. Let me know when you'd like to come take a run with us. Think you can? not I know you can, and God knows you can. I'd like to leave you with my favorite scripture today, Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me.